back here on the LVM show. Mm. Had a good time. We had our little guest here. Uh, good actor. Giovanni. Giovanni. We'll check him out. Yeah, you gotta check. Anyone that comes here, we gotta, you know, double check them. See them. Judge for yourself. Not yeah. even double check them. Better like quadruple check them because we only bring the best of the best to the LVM yeah, show. Yeah. So if you don't got talent, you're not gonna be on the show. And, and it's a high quality. You're not going through. Sometimes they go through two emails just to get to the show. Yeah. They go, you got a screening process. Yeah, it's so funny. Like, because I see some of the emails going back and forth between the uh, the cast, the, uh, the crew, <laughs> and I'm like, uh, what about this person? All right. And then that person double checks that person, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> So it's a process you got to do to get on the LVM show. You can't just be like, hey, I want to be on the LVM. Yeah, you can't just be like, oh, Grandma, send, send your stuff to the LVM yeah. show. You're going to get on. <laughs> no. Hey, I, I, I crossed the old lady across the street. Can I be on the LVM show? No. no it doesn't man. work that way. We bring the lady that you cross first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, again, as you see in the background, Ooh. it's time for Speak Out. Ooh. This is the part of the uh, LDM show where, one. yeah, we just oh, speak what we want. Chest, man. Yeah, we got say with a chest for tree, y'all. Uh, y'all don't like it. I don't like it, <laughs> man. Uh, this is how it goes. Well, it is proven fact that in some states they are going to be putting child support where the mothers have to come out with proof that they brought something for the child. So, yes, 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 yes. No clap into the fast clap. Into the fast clap. I'm going to build up to the fast clap. Yeah. Oh, you're going to build it up? <laughs> so, the nail salons are going to close down. The nail salons, the hair salons, the clubs. Listen, I would I would have gone to the club, but I'm trying to find out a way how to mimic the money. My bank account. And what, they're gonna be looking for masters. Yeah. So, so really, they have to they have, they have to show like the statements. I think that should have been there. Like, how many times I was on child support, and I used to go to the court and be like, "Listen, why would she need two hundred seven dollars a week for a baby that don't go nowhere?" You ask, oh, but it's for the child. Okay, name me something you want to spend two hundred dollars a week for that one child. Yeah, mm. Exactly. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Is New York one of these states is passing this? Not this state so far. Uh, there's a couple of states. Uh, I think they were talking about Milwaukee and other states. But we, I'm going to still keep on the story to find out what's going on. Did they pass it? But what you guys think? I think they should. I, honestly, not for nothing because I've seen females go to these child support places. Mm. Beautiful. Nice and dressed. Then they can't. I don't know what the hell happened to them. They have some shoes are, that look like they're talking. They got boogers coming out. They look like they haven't been combed their hair in like months. Running around talking about you. Ashy lips. Mm-mm. Ashy elbows. Like, yo, my you about to start a little fire with your son. Yeah, you know. <laughs> like, yo, how you looking like a bag of money and your kid yes. looking like, you know what I'm saying? Like he's homeless. Yeah. Like, come on. But then some of them do it backwards when they go to the courthouse. Oh yeah, they dressing legit outside. Yeah. When they go to the cool house, they want to look like ah, oh, I don't got the money. And half of them be like, oh, it's it's a pay the rent for and, and your kid. Okay, I got you. I'll give you the money to pay the rent for my kid to be in the house. But what happened to the other baby dads? Do they have to chip in? Because I'm not gonna give you eight to nine hundred dollars to pay your rent, and you got other kids in there. And other guys coming in the house, living there. That's true. It, it should be a different way. I'm, I'm with the uh, group called FACE, Fathers Against Criminal Activities. Okay. And we fought in Pennsylvania. And if you check out the Pennsylvania law file, you'll see how we fought to get domestic, I mean, uh, I was going to say domestic violence, child support courthouse to have a, a lawyer there. Because in Pennsylvania, yeah. you don't have the money. They were throwing you to jail right away. What? Right away. You don't even go home. From the courthouse, straight to the jail. So you didn't even get to be like, yo, can you give me some time? And nope. Try to like- nope. Straight to the jail. So we fought for two to three months, and they finally got uh, a, lawyer. a lawyer that's there for you, and they give you payment plans, because that's the law. Yeah. But they were doing whatever they want to do. Um, and if you're watching my show in PA, I'll blow your blast you out like that. I don't give a shit. You, okay. you know so, what I'm saying? This is speak out, son. This is speak out. This is how it is. Son. And if you're that one judge that I bring you down to traffic duty, love you anyway. Um, hey. You cold, you cold, brother. No, I'm not. 
especially when it comes to this, when it comes to this um, topic, I'm, I get real teed off yeah. because I've been through it. I know. And I went, and and the article that came out when we won, yeah. it had a little girl outside. It was a cartoon drawing of a little girl outside of the uh, the jail cage yeah. and a father, but a shadow of a father. And the topic said, "You put my dad in jail." Because he couldn't pay. So now who is going to pay? Mm, the, the daughter is. The kids is. You know what I'm saying? Now, if I couldn't afford to pay the child support while I was out, and you throw me in jail, how am I going to afford when I come back? When you come back, they expect you to pay some. Yeah. For the most and, no, and then when you're in jail, it's still going. Or they don't pause it. They don't pause it. You got to request to pause it. If you don't know that, the law that you can No, but you, you request. They give you 30 days minimum all the way up to a year so it takes 45 days for your request to come in so that 45 days then they're going to give you another court date so let's say if you're there only for a month yeah. and you request for them to freeze it yeah. guess what it's not going to be frozen because it takes 45 days but now you lost your job because you're in there for 30 days they have this called work release program but some of the jobs fire you yeah because, because the you, law put me in so now I don't got I don't got time to to uh, to pay for all this child support. And you backed up, and then you go in there and say, "Hey, listen, I pay child support and all this, but I don't see nothing. How's she gonna call me for Pampers and then the next day call me for Pampers and after she's getting child support? So now they made this law where I want to see proof. But let's say this though, because now we live in a society where no, no, women are starting to have the same respect. They should have the same respect and right. see the same level as men. So let's flip that around. Let's say if. There is a, a a female that's on like uh like the males. Do they have to show like like a list? Let's say if a male takes yep. a female to uh, you have to show that. So it's both parties, not just females. Right, okay, it's both okay. parties that you if you have the child and you requesting child support, I think and they should take it a different level. I think they should give them, which they do in PA. You have a credit card from the um from the child support. That's office. the best way. That child support office, you got to use your money. And it better say, and, and I, I think they should just stop that you can take out cash. Mm, really? Because they can say, oh, I took out the cash to pay this. No, no, pay with your car. I want to see the proof. I think they should just do that. Give them the credit card and say, okay, the uh, child support payee just paid on your credit card. Now you can go use that and pay the bills. And you better hope that the bills are paid by the card. So now you have proof because there's going to be ways around it. Because I can take out the cash and say, oh, I have paid my rent. Right? Right? And I'm really just hanging out. Yeah. The rent was paid for like three months in advance already. You don't know that. Mm. And then I can tell the landlord, give me a receipt of today. There's many ways around it. Um, but don't you think there might be maybe uh, some type of loophole in that? Maybe if they just use the card or something like that? If they use the or card. Or even if they itemize it. Because this thing about it, is, is, is the court going to go and, and check you out and see everything you do? Do you really Well, they're not going to go. But yeah. now, if as a pay, I can go to court and say, listen... She had not been paying nothing for my child. Yeah. Okay, let me check the credit card records. No, sir, she has been paying. Toys R Us, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? So now we know by records. And it helps the, the, the person receiving it because of that. Because some fathers would just say, for oh, the heck of it. Um, and they don't. And I see there are parents where the whole money goes to the kid. And this, you know? I think that some people actually don't even don't like even paying child support because they know the fact yo, that money's not gonna go for the kid. I know you're gonna go to exactly. the hair salon, you're about to go yeah. clubbing with that, you're about to go do your hair, like come on. Right. But now that you say that, I got a beef with some of the fathers. Mm. And the one beef I have speak out is I almost you know that. One beef I have for your deadbeat dads. Stop using those damn excuses. Oh, I'm not going to be paying all this for another nigger to be living in her house. Listen, if you're not with her, automatically she's going to have someone. If you're not with him, automatically he's going to have someone too. Stop using that damn excuse. You wasn't going to pay anyway, all right? The kid has nothing to do with who you're living with. Worry about the kid. Stop worrying about who she's living with, what she's doing with now, what she's doing with the money. That's the question you need to ask. If she's going out with a man, well, your man should be paying your rent. But then you pay your child support and don't worry about the man. That's all I got to say. 
Mm. Pay your damn child support. You don't have to worry about what the man is doing in the house. Now, the, if the guy's sitting around and bumming, now you have a no, Now you have this. Now you have this. Like, yo, listen, your man is sitting here living off of my, my child support. That's a problem. That is a problem. That's a problem. And I think that's why with this new law, I think that would help. Mm. I think that would help. Would you, do, you think, do you think any, it has any, any flaws as law? Is there anything you would add to it? Or do you think it's perfect just the way it is? I don't know. I really didn't look into it as much. But there's always a loophole. As uh, people know that know me when I was uh, a criminal analyst, the reason why I was so good is because I found so many loopholes. So there is loopholes. Criminals find so many loopholes. And you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she said Trump finds loopholes. Look, look, at, look at the loophole. Yeah, basically the loophole we got that Trump is going to be almost president. So, you know, there's always loopholes to everything, I think. They're doing a V count, aren't they? Yeah, they're going to do a lot of stuff for, for him. But, <laughs> you know... It's it's comes to the point where, when when does it stop? Like when it is for the child, and how much money does a child really need? Because I have a five month old, and I don't spend no two hundred dollars a week in no damn Pampers mm. and milk. Mm-mm. The powder milk right now is costing me twenty five dollars for a powder milk. That powder milk lasts at least two weeks. Mm. So let's say if I, if I get $200 a week from child support, that gives me a couple of cans. That should last me about a month. Just for, for one week. Pampers. Uh, newborn to two months or three, I can see you wasting a box. Mm. Still a box is only $30 to $40. Yep. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he got the number already counted at 145 diapers. <laughs> so, see, I don't got no kids, so I can't even really so, chip in like that. <laughs> I always sat down and said, Where the heck are you gonna spend the $200 a week? Mm. Myself, $200 I wasn't paying. I wasn't paying three. Wasn't even paying four. Yeah. Just to say, I paid the rent and the light. Mm. And I was my main com- com- complaint was. You got two other kids. Why are you not attacking them for child support? Because they're deadbeat dads and I'm the one that makes all the money. You're making money, so I'm going to attack you. 33% no. And we're going to be wrapping this up real quick, but MPA, uh, our engineer just said, here they charge 33. MPA is 55% of what? your income goes automatically to the person that has your child. Oh, I, I'm making sure I have it. No baby mamas. Nah, son. That, uh-uh. that, yes, 55%. Ain't no baby mamas. 55%. Be- I can't, that's why I, I, I said, you know what? We have to do something different. And, and, he said 55%. And the other thing, the funny part about it, when I went, this is why they made that face, yeah. the uh, company. Because as soon as I went, they asked me how much I make. Am I working? Cool. That's it. They asked her, how much is your rent? What do you afford? What? You're going to ask her how much she makes? Because at that time, yeah, I was making a lot of money, but she was making more money than me. And I still got to pay 55. It should go a rate system. It should have a rate system. Here in New York, a friend of mine, well, I don't call him a friend no more because he's a deadbeat dad to his son. Um, He was paying $100 a month working at the post office. I don't know how that happened. Working in the post office, hundred dollars a month, and you guess what? He had to go to court because he didn't pay for five months straight. Oh, listen. Anyway, what's your thought on the child support? We'll talk about it more. This was our uh, speak out. When we come back, we're going to come back with a great singer. Find out what she's all about. She's gorgeous. Keep up the conversation going on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and let us know. Maybe we'll. Come back to the child support story, but we want to hear your child support story. And if you're one of those mothers that want to call in one day and say, listen, it doesn't matter if I do my nails, I still got my child. Give me a call because I'm going to clap back. This is Charles. I love my nails. <laughs> you know it. We'll be right back. <laughs>